Hi, my name is Kevin Bull. I work with Douglas Pads and Sports. Douglas for the last 32 years has believed in an air management system that requires three parts, a load spreader, a shock absorber, and then the dispersion of the energy. The whole key is the dispersion of energy. You don't want energy transferred to the athlete. Today we're discussing the shock absorption part of the air management system. Two options, cantilever versus the flat. Starting with the traditional cantilever pad, two sources of shock absorbers. One is the cantilever strap, which is a biothane piece of material that's riveted to the front and the back, forming an arch in a cantilever, working in conjunction with the elastic straps that you see here on this cantilever pad work as a shock absorber. You get the up and down motion from the cantilever and you get the spring motion from the elastic straps. Second version is a flat pad. The shock absorber is now a piece of closed cell foam that is mounted on the outside. This is the shock absorber up here in between the cushion. Slows the energy down so it can be dispersed throughout the whole main body of the pad. Must wear your belts tight in wearing a flat pad to make the pad work properly. If your belts are loose, the bottoms blow out, all the energy is driven into the top of the shoulder. Cantilever pads can be worn by people of all ages. It's not recommended on people with overdeveloped traps. Flat pad is not for everyone. The athlete's body has to be developed enough to have pectoral muscles that the belt and buckle system can lock under to anchor the pad in place to keep it from rocking on the athlete. 